In this one, we are gonna set up the hyperlinked identity field so we can have our URL actually represented inside of our list API. So our URL being the actual URL for each individual item, so each post for that matter. Um, because realistically, when we actually query all this stuff, we might not wanna get all of these things. We definitely wanna have a link to the detail view, much like we have a link to the next page in the query set, but we also wanna make sure that we have a link to whatever detail is there. Because the post list, we might wanna change it. In some cases, you might just want the title. You might not even want the slug. You might not want content. You might not want public. You might just want title and the link. That way you can get more detail about it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do in this one. Let's go ahead and open up Sublime Text and we're gonna make, first of all, I'm gonna do it the default way, which is the way that you would probably use it in many cases, but we will explain why we're gonna switch it to doing a custom as well. Um, so inside of our import, we will also wanna import hyperlinked. Notice it's lower, notice lowercase is linked. Identity field. So hyperlinked identity field. Um, that of course is in the serial serializer relations section in the hyperlinked identity field. So going back in, we're gonna create a new one in our post list serializer. And we're gonna say URL equals to hyperlinked identity field. And there's a couple things we need in here. And that's view name. And then also the lookup field. Okay, so what's the view name? What's that referred to? Now, if you remember back to our models, we used reverse and we did post detail and then a keyword argument. We have to do the exact same thing or something similar to that to make sure that this works as well. So if you remember back to when we first designed the URL, we made the API post, the namespace being posts API. So let's go ahead and copy that and jump back into our serializers. View name post API. So that's the first part of it and we use colon. Um, so now we need the view itself, which is in our URLs. In this case, it's detail. So back into um, our serializer and we put detail here. And the lookup field by default would be the primary key. But since we didn't use that, instead we used slug, we actually can put slug there. And then finally, we're gonna add a URL into the fields. Save that, go back into our project, and now we have these URLs in here. So this also means that, well, I no longer need this slug. Gone. It's now gone. There's really no reason for that slug whatsoever. Probably don't need the user as it stands like that, but I'm gonna leave it. But I do have this now, so I can click on here and actually see the post detail. So what I could also do is add the delete URL if we wanted to um, by just basically copying this, pasting it underneath and calling it delete URL and put that on the bottom, save it, refresh, and it gives us a delete URL. Of course, we wanna change this detail to delete and we refresh in there and it gives us the URL for it. Um, so that's obviously one way we could do that. And also if you want it in the detail view itself, you could have it in here as well and just copy and paste essentially this URL um, right back up there. Or you could just set the URL itself saying like something like this, post detail URL equals to that. So you can do URL equals to post detail URL and come in here Put it into the fields. This would this essentially would save you from having to write it over and over again. Um, so then you could just use that everywhere you'd like. And going back into the list, there we go. So it's still showing up. I am definitely going to get rid of this delete URL. It's not something I really need to have exposed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Save it and refresh, and there we go. Um, so that is how we actually get a link directly to our um, detail view or any view for that matter using the hyperlinked identity field. This of course is going off of the object, each object itself. So we have, a, a we're using a slug, but if there was something else that's built off of that object itself, you would be able to do that. Now you might be wondering, well, how do I, how do I get this user model a little bit better? Like how can I see more about this user? 
there's definitely a few ways on how we could do this, but what I want to do is actually just return the user's username and that's it, not their actual ID. So if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.